Wednesday's Pets on 2 is sponsored by Charleston County Parks. Welcome back to News 2 Midday. Well, it is now time for our News 2 Pet of the Day. I can't tell you how excited I am to be joined in the studio right now. Callie Knight with Dorchester Paws and Callie. We have a pup here in the studio today. Oh, yeah. She's a she's sweet been a one good too. Good girl. Yeah, she's like this is Stella. She's about she's a four year old terrier mix. Um, she came to our shelter. She's been here about a month. I think she knows Angel? her name and she's like knows how to ride in cars. So she, I think she was uh, somebody's dog at one somebody's at one point. She's absolutely so, yeah. precious. She's yeah. being a good girl here, laying down. <laughs> there you have a view of her. She's got amazing spots. How old did you say she might be? She's about four years old. Four years old. I mean, look at how calm she is. This is an environment to walk into. Let me tell you, with all the cameras right. and everything going on, all the people, and she just couldn't be any sweeter. She's right. got some bribes going on here, some <laughs> treats. So, Kelly, is tell me about the situation at the shelter right now. Dogs, cats, lots of things needing homes. What's the what's the situation right now? Yeah, I mean, we've gotten to the point where we're not super super over our capacity right now. I mean, we still we get a lot of animals in because we are an uh, open admission shelter, so we get a lot of strays, a lot of pickups from animal control, a lot of owner surrenders. Um, so we do get to a point where we do get over capacity. So we always are looking for fosters. Um, volunteers to help out so any way that you can help out really really helps us out you know and gets a lot of these animals out and plus it gives us a you know when you take an animal home to foster it gives us a little more information about that animal too right we, can, we know if they're good with other kids or dogs you know things like that so, so you are looking for volunteers right now if people are maybe interested in doing that definitely yeah and you can volunteer doing everything from going out to events with us um, to even coming into our shelter and, and walking dogs or getting part of our behavior program and stuff like that so it's That's a, awesome. a lot of ways to help out and you sure. do have an event coming up we do yeah, so we normally do our oyster roast, which is on uh, in the beginning of February. We had to cancel that this year, but we're doing our first live, uh, I guess, live event where we're going to be bringing uh, hopefully about 400 tickets, um, and it's a prom by the pond, which is an adult themed prom, and it's uh, how fun all is you, that? Yeah, it's awesome. You can oh, dress up, that. and yeah, and we're going to be. Um, Will there be dogs? Ah, I wish, no, you can't <laughs> no bring your dogs out, no. But it's live music and uh, all you can drink beer and wine and some food and stuff like that. What so a cool sweet, event. All right, we definitely have to check that out. Somebody open your home up to Miss Stella. I mean, look at her manners right now. She could not be more civilized. I think she <laughs> likes TV. She's very, very sweet. And thank you, Callie, so much for bringing her in. Again, Dorchester Paws, check out their website. If you want another pet, maybe you're looking for a cat or something else. And it's so great having you and thank Stella you. in the Appreciate studio. It. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Well, we 